Hi there and welcome to Mr. Arnold's Maths. In this video we're going to look at expanding brackets. Now a very common topic on many GCSEs and it can be quite straightforward once you get the knack of it. So I'm going to do six examples for you and then you guys will have six examples to practice. So let's start with example one here. We've got three bracket x minus one and what that means is three multiplied by x multiplied by minus one. So I'm going to take the three, I'm going to multiply it by the x and then I'm going to multiply it by the negative 1. Well, 3 times x is simply 3x and then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And that's our answer, folks. Simple as that. Let's have a look at question 2. We've got 3 bracket a minus b. So we're going to take the 2 and we're going to multiply it by the a and then we'll take the 2 and multiply it by the negative b. So 2 times a is 2a and then 2 times negative b well we have to get our signs right here the number 2 is positive the b is negative and a positive times a negative is always negative and then 2 times b 2b job done right example 3 a little bit trickier now we got 2 times 3x plus 6 so again, following the exact same strategy as before. So we take the 2 and we multiply it by the 3x, and then we take the 2 and multiply it by the 6. So 2 times 3x, well, 2 lots of 3x is 6x. Nice easy one to do here. 2 times 3 is 6, and then we still have the x. Then we got 2 times 6 is plus 12. And uh, that's question 3 done. done. Right. Question 4. We got 4 times 2x plus 3. So take the 4, multiply it by 2x, then take your 4 and multiply it by this 3 here. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 2 is 8, and we have the x. And then 4 times 3 gives me 12. And that's question 4 done. Second last one here, question 5. So We've got 2x times by 3x, and then we're going to take the 2x and times it by the negative 4. Okay, slightly harder here. Right, I always start with the numbers. What's 2 times 3? Well, it's 6. And then we do x times x. Hopefully you realize x times x is x squared. And then we're going to do the 2x times the negative 4. Well, again, Remember, this is positive. There's a positive sign here, but we don't see it. Positive times negative is negative. 2 times 4 is 8, and we still have that x there tagged on. And finally, question 6, we've got 5x times 2x plus 4. So we're going to take the, the 5x, multiply it by the 2x, then take the 5x and multiply it by the 4. So... 5 times 2 gives me 10, and the x times x is x squared. And now the second part, we're going to do 5x times 4. Well, 5 times 4 is 20, and we still have that x there, okay? Because that was 5x, and we've multiplied it by 4. So 4 lots of 5x is 20x. Okay, hopefully you understand what to do from those examples there. Uh, here are six questions for you to try. So pause the video now, have a go at those questions, and I will show you the answers in about five seconds. Okay, hope you had enough time with that and you managed to get them right. Here are the solutions here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do feel free to leave a comment, and I will talk to you again sometime. Cheers.